A lot of people don't realize what's really going on. They view life as a bunch of unconnected incidents and things. They don't realize that there's this, like, lattice of coincidence that lays on top of everything. I'll give you an example, show you what I mean. Suppose you're thinking about a plate of shrimp. Suddenly somebody will say, like, plate or shrimp or plate of shrimp, out of the blue, no explanation. No point in looking for one either. It's all part of a cosmic unconsciousness. You eat a lot of acid, Miller, back in the hippie days? I'll give you another instance. You know the way everybody's into weirdness right now? Books in all the supermarkets about Bermuda triangles, UFOs, how the Mayans invented television, that kind of thing. I don't read them books. Well, the way I see it, it's exactly the same. There ain't no difference between a flying saucer and a time machine. People get so hung up on specifics, they miss out on seeing the whole thing. Take South America, for example. In South America, thousands of people go missing every year. Nobody knows where they go. They just like disappear. But if you think about it for a minute, you realize something. There had to be a time when there was no people, right? Yeah, I guess. Well, where did all these people come from? Hmm? I'll tell you where. The future. Where'd all these people disappear to? Hmm? The past? That's right! And how'd they get there? How the fuck do I know? Flying saucers. Which are really... Yeah, you got it. Time machines. I think a lot about this kind of stuff. I do my best thinking on the bus. That's how come I don't drive, see? You don't even know how to drive. I don't want to know how. I don't want to learn, see? The more you drive, the less intelligent you are. <laughs>